Hi and welcome back and this is part three um, and I'll try to get everything done in this part three so I won't have to do a part four. Um, okay so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to make a just a standing still a neutral pose. So um, I'm going to come down here to the action editor and I'm going to go ahead and add a new action and I'll call this standing still. And now what I'll go ahead and do is I'll go ahead and press A twice to select all keyframes. I'll press X and delete those keyframes. Uh, you'll now see that when I move my mouse pointer, it um, the standing still action disappears. It looks as if I didn't make it. Um, so I'm going to come back here to the um, action browser and I'm going to choose standing still. I'm going to come over here and press A twice to select all of the bones. I'm going to press option R and that resets the rotation on all of the bones so he's just standing still there. And on frame one I'll press I and I'll insert a keyframe on location rotation. And so now you can see it's a single one frame him just standing there standing still. Okay so that looks pretty good so I'll just go through and check my three. I've got, um, I've got run I've got standing still and I've got walk. Okay, good. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and create um, a little game scenario. So I'm going to change the bottom window down here to the logic editor. Okay, so I've got the um, I've got the armature selected, and what I want to do now is I'm going to come over here and I've got my um, sensors, controllers, and actuators. So I'm going to say add sensor, and I'm going to make it a keyboard sensor, and I'm going to hook it up to the W key. So that's going to be my forward, and I'll name these of course, and then I'll come over here to add actuator, and I'll do an action actuator. And I'm going to go ahead and wire those up, and it creates an AND uh, controller. And so I'm going to come right here, and then this blank box, uh, I'm going to click and I can choose whichever one I want. And I'm going to do walk. I'm going to rename my action walk. Um, and I don't want it to just play. I want it to do um, loop stop. And that way the action will loop forever um, until, it's, until, it, until it stops. Um, I'm going to say the start frame is 1, and I know the end frame is 20. Okay, so now if I go ahead and let's see if this works. If I press play, um, and then I press W, you'll see that the character is walking. And if I lift up, you'll see that um, he stops. Okay, good. Okay, I'm going to continue on. I'm going to go ahead and collapse... Uh, these right here and I'm going to go ahead and add in another one. So it's going to be another keyboard sensor um, and this is going to be for the run. So let me add in another action. Um, so W is going to move this character forward um, and I think I'm going to have it be that if you press shift W the character will then go ahead and run. So the key is going to be W but I'm going to come down here to where it says first modifier and I'm going to press the shift key. So it's left shift plus W uh, will then execute this action. So I'm going to wire that up and I'm going to choose uh, run and I'm going to make it be loop stop and the start frame was 1 and the end frame was 10. Okay, good. Uh, I'll name this run action. Okay, and this will be um, this will be shift W. Okay, so let's press play and see how that goes. So W makes him walk. Shift W makes him run. Okay, so um, I'm back. I made a little modification. Um, the little modifier button wasn't working very well and maybe that's something that I need to spend a little more time on and figure out. So what I did was I, I basically made the um, keyboard 
uh, sensor over here, I made it to be the letter Q. So now when I press the letter Q, he runs, uh, and then when I press W, he walks. So I'll press play. So this is me pressing W, and he walks. If I press Q, he's going to then run. Okay, so that looks pretty good. Okay, uh, now I want to give him some actual movement. I want uh, the character to actually move around in 3D space. Right now, we just have him doing the animations, but he doesn't actually move around. So um, I'm going to come over here, and I'm going to say Add Actuator, and this is going to be uh, Motion. Um, and I'm going to... Um, the motion is going to be a simple motion, and I'm going to... Uh, I'm going to need two of these, and I'm going to wire up the motion to the W key. So that way, when um, when you press the W key, he does two actions. He does the walk action, but he also moves forward. And so forward for my character is on the negative Y axis, so I'm going to type in something like uh, negative um, 0.5. We'll see what that looks like. Um, Okay, so that's a bit fast, so I'm going to do negative, oops, negative 0.05. Okay, so that looks pretty good there. Um, okay, so you see how these wires are being crossed, and you can leave it like that, but I find it a little confusing uh, when you start getting really complex. So I'm going to collapse this action actuator and you'll see that now I get these little up down arrows so I'm just gonna press the up arrow and that way you'll see it moved up alright so this is gonna be I'm gonna change the name this is gonna be move forward okay so now you'll see that we've got you press the letter W um, and then it does two actions it animates him uh, using the walk animation and it physically moves him forward on the uh, negative Y axis, which is there. So again, press play, W, and you can see he's doing both at the same time, which looks great. Um, I'll go ahead and now add another motion actuator, um, and this one is going to be wired up uh, to the pressing Q, which is going to be run, and I'll call this one run forward. There we are, and this one's going to be, um, again, negative, but it's going to be it's going to be faster, so maybe I'll do uh, negative uh, point 0.3, something like that. Okay, so now if I press play and I press Q, you can see he runs faster, and that looks like a pretty decent speed uh, so far. Okay, um, all right, The so I've got two out of the three animations, and now what I want to do is I want to, I basically want to have it so that um, if he... Uh, if the player is not pressing any keys on the keyboard, I want him to stop and I want him to do the standing still animation so that he um, is not stuck in a pose like a walk pose like this. So the way you do that is you come over here and you do a always sensor and then we're going to do a um, action actuator and I'm going to wire those up. The action is going to be standing still. Um, and there's only basically start frame is one, end frame is one. Um, so now here's what's going to happen though, uh, and here's the sort of the magic in doing this. Um, there's a little uh, box down here called priority, and you can see that when I mouse over it says execution priority. Lower numbers will override actions with uh, with higher numbers. Um, with two or more actions at once, the overriding channels must be lower in the stack. Um, okay, so what that means is notice that these other actions all have a priority of zero, which means since they are both set to zero, they are more important than the standing still um, action. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make the standing still action a priority of one. So that means it's higher up on the priority. And I know that sounds a little backwards. Uh, it sounds like it's more important because it's number one, it's more. Um, but it's, it's not. It's, it's reversed that. So what we should get now is that when I press play, uh, you can see that the character is there. And when he goes forward, and it looks like he's not quite returning there. Um, I'm going to go ahead and maybe make it priority two. Let's see if that works. If it still doesn't work, then I'll have to try to figure it out, but that should work.
Okay, so I'm going to have to do some figuring out. That should have done it, and that may be because I have uh, three actions here. Let me just do that there. Yeah, so I'm getting kind of unexpected results from what it should be doing. So let me tinker around with it for a minute or two, and then I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm back, and to finish up, the good news is, as I figured it out, okay, so here's what we need to do. Um, I've created the action, um, so I set the priority for the standing still, I set that to priority of one, and you can see that if I open up, um, so my walk action is set to a priority of zero, which means it has a more important, a higher priority, my run um, has a higher priority, and again, it, it does sound backwards, saying a higher priority with a lower number, but that's the way it works. Um, so the way it is now is if I press play, he starts off in a standing still pose, and when I walk forwards, he stays in that walk pose. He doesn't return back to um, he doesn't return back to the standing still. So what I need to do is I need to come over here to the always sensor, and um, we have these two little buttons here. Uh, the first one is called uh, true level triggering, and the second one is called false level triggering we want to set it to true. So we're going to click on the very first one. Um, and now when we go ahead and press play, he starts off in the standing still pose, and I can walk. And then when I lift up on W, he returns back. So it's literally, Blender is, is basically saying, when I press W, the walk action takes on a higher priority. Um, and it, it says it's more important. And that's because, again, the priority is set to zero. It's a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a higher level of priority. It's more important. And so it overrides um, the standing still action. So there we are. Um, OK, so that is pretty much it. We now have a character that can do three different actions. Um, so try this out, have fun, and enjoy.